Hey there chameleons, it's Camille, welcome back to my channel and today I have a really exciting video for you guys. It's the first video of the back to school videos that I'll be making, I don't know how many but this is the first one, it's a get ready with me video so I show you guys how I do my little bun, uh, my simple back to school makeup that still makes you look good and a really cute back to school outfit. So this video is also in collaboration with my girl Paris. Uh, we met at Generation Beauty in LA when I visited. She lives in LA and she is such a sweetheart. So she did a back to school video as well, a get ready with me. And you guys can click on the screen to go check it out. It will also be linked in the description box down below. She has a great channel and she deserves so many more subscribers than she has. So don't forget to check out her channel. If you guys like it, don't forget to subscribe. So now, let's get into the video. So let's start this back to school look by taking care of this big mop of green moss that I have on top of my head. So first I'm going to take it out of that ponytail bun thing, I don't even know what it was. And I'm going to get my spray bottle that just has straight water in it and just dampen my hair a little bit. I only get it slightly damp so then it's easier to put a little bit of product through it but nothing crazy so you don't need to make it too wet, just lightly spritz all over the outside parts. Now that I look like a freaking monster, I'm taking my Cantu Shea Butter Coconut Curling Cream, which helps define, moisturize, and strengthen your hair. It's like kind of, well, it is a cream consistency, you can see. So it's like that, and that's why since it's kind of thick, I sprayed my hair with a little bit of water. So I'm going to spread that out on my hands, and then put that on all the outsides of my head because that's the part that I want to control the curls for and just kind of define them a little bit and just kind of bring them into a bun that's not frizzy. So that's why I'm pretty much just putting it on the outside of my hair and not like trying to put it on all of my hair. Anyways, I'm taking that spritzer and just spraying the sides because I have some unruly curls that keep popping on my head for no good reason. So you gotta tame them. Tell them who's boss. Show them with that spray can like you would use to control a cat. That's how you gotta control your hair. Anyways, I'm going to be putting this into a ponytail that's kind of on the top of my head, but not too high up, but not too low. So that's going to be the perfect placement for your bun, and you want to find the hole in the middle, and that's going to be the center of your bun. So then you kind of part your hair, and you roll downwards. Um, this is just how I do my own personal buns that look kind of like those donut buns that people would use those donut hair filler thingies for if you have a little bit of hair, but since I have curls, it's a lot easier to get volume. So you just kind of twist down, make the donut shape yourself, put the ends underneath, and then get some bobby pins to secure those ends and just kind of secure the bun to the top of your head, just placing them all over throughout your hair. One crazy rebel child on the back of my head, so I'm just going to use a bobby pin and put that up. And that's it for the hair. Nice and simple and makes me feel like a ballerina. So now for the face, I'm just going to do this very simply. I'm going to get my foundation. I had to mix two to make it the right color, but whatever. And I'm going to dot that all over my face. For school, you want to look good, but you don't need to look that good. So I'm just doing like regular foundation that matches my skin. And now I'm going to be using my new Artiste face brush which is a foundation brush that uses these tiny microfiber things. It's kind of hard to explain, but they pretty much just hover over the top of your skin and distribute the foundation without soaking up any product. So it's a really good way to get a really beautiful canvas and not waste foundation. They're also mad soft, so I just like the feeling of it gliding across my skin, and that's why I've been using it so often besides the really good coverage that it gives regular foundation. It's also pretty fast to use, so if you're trying to get ready early in the morning, then it would be a good method to saving some time. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer. I'm just dotting that on top of my problem areas, just like my dark spots, my under eyes, and then if you have any acne or around the mouth that you want to conceal. And then I'm just saving time by using that same foundation brush and using it to blend out the concealer, which it does a pretty good job of. The thing about these brushes though is that you want to clean it after every use or else it's going to start getting build up and changing the texture of the brush so it's just very simple so I always clean it after using. Now I'm going to use my banana powder to highlight and then my regular powder to set my foundation. 
That way, no matter how much you stress out at school, your foundation will still be there. Now I'm a bronze up my skin, and I'm a blush up my skin, and I'm a highlight up my skin. Just some basics. Eyebrows are always a must. They frame the windows to your soul, so make sure you take care of those window frames. They make a big impact on your face, especially if you're just doing very simple makeup. You just want good looking skin, brows, and then a little bit of lips. So I'm using my same highlighter under the brow, and I'm doing a very, very simple eye look using my Revealed 3D palette. So I'm just doing a little bit of a shimmery, kind of peachy color on the lids and a medium brown in the crease. Nothing fancy, just very simple definition. I'm gonna highlight on the inner corners because that takes like one second and it makes your eyes look popping. And for liner, I'm just tight lining the top to define it without using any extra time or effort to do anything crazy. Now I'm using my Smashbox X-Rated Mascara, which is my current favorite mascara. Freaking love this stuff. It gives so much volume and length to my lashes and it just makes my eyes look so much more dramatic after not really doing too much. And with such a simple eye look, mascara really is a game changer. Lastly, I'm using a pigmented lip gloss in a shade that's not crazy, so it's good for school, and also doesn't really compete with my hair. So there we go, there is your back to school makeup. Gonna be looking popping in class without having to get up way too early to do anything that's just too much work. Now here is the outfit that I picked out. It's very simple for school. I just have a black and white kind of crop top. You don't have to have a crop top if your school doesn't allow it. But I really like this black and white one because it fits my aesthetic. And then I'm wearing these corduroy legging type things. They're kind of thicker than leggings, but they're less structured than pants. If you look closely, you'll see some faded kittens on the back of this denim shirt, which is the coolest thing that I've ever gotten as far as denim at a thrift shop. So just get any sort of denim shirt which is great if your school's gonna have AC in some of the buildings and not in others. I always wear my choker, of course, and I did add some studs to the collars of this shirt and a pin because choose wisely. This is the year that y'all need to choose wisely in the elections, but you can change up your denim by adding stuff like that. Just throw on your backpack. Mine's this cute black leather one to fit my aesthetic, but you can wear whatever you want. I have these black and white shoes because they're flat and they're comfortable to wear, but they're also mad cute. They're Oxford style, which I freaking love. And mind you, every product that I talk about in this video will be linked down below so you can find it. But this is just my ideal outfit for back to school. I hope you guys liked this video. So if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as my vlog channel and cooking channel, which will be linked down below. And don't forget to check out Paris's video too. Thank you, Chameleon, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.